Fight fans all over the world, it's Daddy P with Slap Happy Gorilla. What? Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk. Hey, man, look. Historical fight with Alexander Usyk walking away with the victory. Hey, as the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Usyk should now be considered as the best fighter in the world. Listen. Tyson Fury was probably considered as, you know, the heavyweight guy. He was the lineal champion, the man that beat the man in heavyweight. Uh, but Alexander Usyk has now beat him. If you consider his role to undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, he should be considered the best fighter in the world right now. And, I mean, not even to mention his amateur career, Olympic gold medalist. Um, he won all type of accolades as an amateur. Um, look, man, this man in the professional rankings won the Muhammad Ali Trophy in the tournament for cruiserweights. Um, and he also captured that cruiserweight undisputed crown, holding down all four major belts. Listen, now he came to the heavyweight division, took it by storm. He beat Anthony Joshua twice, um, and he came on to beat and become the lineal champion. Um, not only that, he is undisputed. Um, that was a phenomenal fight last night, man. Look, this it was a back-and-forth night of boxing, and it was, look, I had picked Tyson Fury to win, but I got to take my hat off to Alexander Usyk. Um, like I said, back and forth fight, first couple rounds, uh, you probably go ahead and give to Usyk anyway, but from those middle rounds or the rounds between three and about, uh, say about seven or so, hey, look, Tyson Fury control, um, the lingo of the fight, you know, but it had ebbs and flows as well in, in those areas, but Tyson Fury was landing to the body. Um, he was landing upstairs. He had his jab going perfect. And uh, I think one thing, too, like once he got stunned in the eighth round, um, eh, you know, Usyk came on as well. But in that ninth round, after he got stunned, Tyson Fury definitely, he had went away from his jab. And, um, you know, it was it was detrimental to his uh, stance in the fight from that point. He did try to get his jab back going in like the 11th and 12th round, but um, to no avail. Um, it just wasn't that dominance. You know what I'm saying? Um, but Usyk, man, coming coming forward most of the fight, just about the whole fight, he was on his front foot. Um, and he did well on the battle of front foot. You know, when you have a left-handed fighter and a fighter who – fighting the orthodox stance, both fighters are susceptible to that two, to that number two, that backhand, you know what I'm saying? Um, and there is a foot posturing, a, a battle of the front foot to get in position to land clean shots. And a hey, Alexander Uzik played that perfectly. That's why he is so successful. But in this particular fight, he did very well. His footwork was on point. Um, and he was able to sustain that for most of the fight. And, and that's what uh I heard Sugar Hill in the you know in the corner at one time mention something about him being able to sustain that all night. I don't think they thought he would be able to. And I think um they did take advantage of him. Seeming like, you know, he was running out of steam at one point. Well, he just got caught with a real clean shot. He got caught with a clean shot from Tyson Fury that made him back up some. And, you know, his coming forward wasn't as aggressive um, in those middle rounds. And, and Tyson Fury took advantage of that. Now, Tyson Fury did have him hurt at that particular time to me. Tyson Fury should have smashed the gas. 
Because in a fight, you know, even though you have control, you fight in a fighter that's, you know, top notch, A1 caliber fighter, man. When you have them in a in a certain position, you should take advantage. But it, you know, who knows? I don't know if Tyson Fury just wanted to measure himself to have enough in the tank to finish the fight um, because he didn't feel like Usyk would go down easy, even though he was hurt. He didn't want to. Uh, Tyson Fury maybe didn't want to tire himself out. But I don't know what the what the thing was with him not smashing the gas when he had Usyk hurt. But um, you know, it played to his detriment because Usyk found. His second win. Now, some rumors going around about an inhaler and all of that. Come to find out it was a cross um, that was dear to his heart. And um, I don't know if it was from his father. What he got emotional talking about his father in the uh, post-fight interview. But um, who knows? All I know is, you know, he's a religious guy. He had a cross um, and it was him kissing the cross. The footage going around, though, a lot of people saying that he had an illegal inhaler. You know, I don't I'm not sure, you know, but all in all, man, look, you got to crown this guy the top fighter in the world right now. A lot of time they don't give the accolade of pound for pound to a heavyweight. Um, but hey, he the man right now. Usyk is the man right now in the sport of boxing. Uh, we can't really say the face of boxing from a revenue standpoint. You know, you still got the Canelos out there. You still got people like Tank Davis, who has a lot of buzz around his name. But, um, hey, Alexander Usyk, um, he carries that the torch right now for the baddest man in the world, you know. But anyway, man, hats off to Alexander Usyk. Um, his win was historic. Um, and you know, Hey, look in this era of boxing, we have a new king of the sport. And that is none other than Alexander Uzi. Y'all tell me what y'all think about Alexander Uzi. What y'all think about the fight last night between him and Tyson Fury? Where does Fury go from here? You know, I saved that for another video, but Hey, subscribe to the channel, like, hate, comment, Hey, look, hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. Hey, man, y'all rock with your boy. This Daddy P. I'm out of there.